Hi, in this video, I'm going to dispel three myths about working with galleries on a representation basis. A lot of time artists want galleries for validation. They feel like, well, if I'm an artist, then obviously it makes sense that I would want to have a gallery to represent me. I really want you to think a bit deeper about why you want to work with a gallery. So if you think that having a gallery is going to actually make you feel more validated as an artist, especially if you are somebody that is career transitioning, for example, or you're self-taught, this doesn't mean that you don't deserve a gallery, but you shouldn't be looking for a gallery simply to validate your career choice. A gallery and artist relationship is very much a business relationship and your need to be validated really needs to come from yourself first. So you really want to work on that self-approval, that self-worth, that validation that you need before you go into a gallery relationship because oftentimes people think that this will validate them, this will make them feel more worthy, it will make them feel like they are being seen and it can be a disappointment when they still feel that lack of self-worth within, even though they are getting, you know, these group shows and their artwork is selling. So really, you don't want to be approaching galleries purely for validation of your work. Your work is worthy of being seen and you get to validate yourself first. Number two, artists often think that having a gallery will mean that they don't need to do their own self-promotion anymore. Well, this is a bit of a myth. Most galleries, especially if you are looking for your first gallery, then you're likely to be working with a smaller gallery that doesn't necessarily have its own like media or marketing department. This is picked up by all the staff that's already within that business, but it doesn't have somebody that is dedicated to that kind of work. So expecting a gallery to do all your marketing and all your promotion so that you can just be free in the studio is not a very realistic outlook. When you start working with a gallery, you will still be expected to activate your social media accounts, your mailing list to tell people that you have this exhibition going on, that your work is available in those places. You'll still need to update your website to show the work is available through the gallery. Oftentimes, you will still be expected to take your own photographs and provide those to the gallery. And so all of this sort of work that you're already doing doesn't actually go away when you work with a gallery. Some of it might be alleviated, but working with a gallery in the hope that this kind of work is taken off your plate, again, is not a realistic expectation. The third myth about working with galleries is that they will be showing your work all the time. Now, this is usually not the case for most galleries because they have a roster of artists and they will be rotating artists through their roster in group exhibitions and sometimes solo shows. So it is not realistic to expect that they are going to be showing your work all the time. They might have it on inventory. They may still be selling it on their website on emails to their subscriber list, on social media, for example, but it doesn't mean that you will have an ongoing exhibition. So just take a reality check with that because a gallery's programming of exhibitions and events through the year might not always include you throughout the whole calendar year. So I hope I have shed some light on three common myths about working with galleries. If you enjoyed this video, do subscribe to the channel.